Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is count collection. So we're doing coins, more monies. It's the same uh, common core strand. We're working with time and money here. We're working with money. So um, our question here is how do we order coins to help find the total value of a group of coins? So we're going to order them from greatest to least in this lesson, okay? So remember, you guys, quarters are 25 cents, and there's different faces of quarters. I'll show you some some of the different faces. Dimes, dimes are 10 cents, nickels are 5 cents, and pennies are, are 1 cent right there. So here's the back sides of quarters. The front sides of quarters pretty much hasn't changed that much. Unless you get a very old quarter, it changed a little bit. And they, they do change. There seems like there's an infinite amount of different faces on there. It's all the same face for quarters, George Washington. Same for dimes. They're all the same face and nickels and pennies on there. Anyways, but the quarter seems to be the one that changes a lot, particularly on the back side, on the tails side. This is the one that's been around for years, most of the years right here. This one, um, these are, are fruit bats um, on the tail side. And the reason why they, they put those on there, I was reading on that, is because they, are, they have become an endangered species. And the fruit bats are one of the most caring of parents of their babies anyway, so... That's why they put that on there. And then so here's another one. So they have bicentennial backsides and everything. The dimes, the dimes have been consistent. They've always had, um, I think they're um, uh, whatever that is right there. Um, maple leaves, I think, or something. I don't know what the little torch in the middle right there. It's always been the same. Nickels, uh, that's pretty much been the same on the backside. But the front side, they have changed it. It's still... It's still our president right there. And then uh, the, the penny, the backside of the penny, is pretty. it's been this one for years and years. This one's our most recent one right here. They used to have a wheat head, uh, the older pennies right there. A lot of people collect coins. Um, uh, there's a lot of rare coins. The more rare the coin is, the more value that those coins are worth. There's some dimes, you guys, no kidding, um, that are worth a couple of million dollars. They're... Um, Oh gosh, I forgot the name of those. I'm drawing a blank. But they're very old dimes. They're probably 60, 70 year old dimes. Gosh, it's right at the tip of my tongue. I can't I can't figure it out. Anyways, but they're worth lots and lots and lots of money. Um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started with this lesson here. So let's line up the coins from um, uh, the greatest value to the least value, and then we'll draw the coins in that order. So I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put the quarters down because those are the biggest values right there. Okay, and then the dimes have the the max, even though they're the smallest coin that we have. They're dimes right here, okay? And then finally the nickel right here, and then I'll I'll just slide that up right there. Let me just slide that up. And then so now it says uh, then draw the coins in that order. Okay, so there they are right there. Here's 25 cents, 25 cents. You don't have to get all, you know, um, uh, if you want to, you can draw the phases on there. I can't draw the phases on there very well. Anyway, so just a circle with the 25 in there. And then the, small, the smallest one is the dimes, okay? And then um, the second largest one is the, is the nickels. Unless you get into a 50 cent piece, but that's not in this, um, in this lesson here. Okay, uh, anyway, so, so describe how the values of the, co of the different kinds of coins are compared. Okay, so remember, the quarter is 25 cents, the dime is 10 cents, the nickel is 5 cents, and the penny is 1 cent right here. So here's some examples you guys a quarter is 25 pennies okay so 25 pennies equals one quarter and here's 25 pennies right there all of these pennies are the worth the same as that a dime is worth 10 pennies so there's 10 pennies right there a nickel is worth five pennies all right let's go back to the quarter a quarter could be five dimes or five nickels i'm sorry 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, which is the same as a quarter right there, okay? Uh, a dime is worth two nickels, okay? And then finally, here's another one. A quarter is worth two dimes and a nickel right here. So here's 10 cents, 20 cents, and then plus five is 25 right there, 25 cents, okay? Here's another way to represent uh, a quarter. One dime and three nickels. So here's 10 cents plus five is 15 cents plus five more. 15 plus 5 is 20, and then 20 plus 5 is 25, which is a quarter. Here's another way. There's all kinds of ways to represent a quarter right there. We can do two dimes and five pennies. That also is 25 cents, okay? So that's what we're doing right here. We're, here it says, uh, order the coins from the greatest to the least, then find the total values right here, okay? 
So you see I have two quarters, I have a dime, that's the next one, and then two pennies. So here they are in order. Okay, so here's two quarters, a dime, and two pennies right there. Then find the total value. Okay, so let's just start counting. So there's 25 cents. Okay, 25 for that quarter right there. Let's add this quarter. Two quarters is 50 cents. And then add a dime. 50 plus 10 is 60. And then add a penny. I get 61. And add another penny is another 61. So don't forget to write it as 60. I'm sorry, I say 61. Sorry, 62 cents. Okay, don't forget your cents symbol because now uh, we're, that's we're trying to um, uh, make <laughs> make sense of this problem right here. So, anyways, um, in the context of the problem, okay. So, so draw and label the coins from the greatest to least values and find the total value. So it's something like we just did. Okay, so it says draw and label the coins. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, uh, I see one quarter. I see, and then two nickels, and then two pennies. So let's go ahead and draw those. Here's one 25 cent piece for the quarter. Here's my two nickels, so five cents in each one of those. And here's the two pennies. Let's count them up. So we'll start with the quarter, that's 25. 25 plus five is, is 30. 30 plus five is 35. Finally, 36 and 37. Don't forget, 37 cents. Okay, let's try another one of these, okay? All right, so here I see a quarter in the middle. I see two dimes. Here's that new nickel uh, front face right there. So I've got two dimes, a nickel, and a penny. So there they are. So let's go ahead and add them up. So I get 25 plus 10 is 35, plus 10 is 45, plus 5 is 50, plus 1 is 51 right there. So it equals 51 cents. Okay, let's try one more. Okay, here I see two quarters, a dime, and a nickel. Okay, so there they are. So here's my two quarters, the dime, and the nickel. So 25 is the first quarter, plus another quarter is 50, plus 10 is 60, plus 5 is 65. Okay, so that's going to total 65 cents. Whoops, sorry about that. You guys see my Spider-Man? Spider-Man is here to spin some more cents into you. I hope that makes sense, you guys. And take care.